Event organizer who has made a name for herself through her culinary skills. A member of the South African Chef Association, she has developed a, a reputation for delivering superb events. Now, in the year 2014, she established her Soweto-based company called Cindy's Best. Born and raised in Soweto, her company offers tailor-made uh, menus, uh, you know, with an emphasis on healthy eating. And to tell us more about herself, as well as the work that she's done, we joined in studio by Cindy Molete. Uh, a very good morning and a warm welcome to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, are you conceptualized? to company Cindy's Best back yes, in 2014. What inspired you to venture into the hospitality um, industry? I come from a background where everybody in my family cooks, uh, uh, mainly my mom, my aunts, my dad cooks. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where the whole passion started, you know. Uh, my mom used to be a street vendor at Kola Ilof and GP, serving taxi mm -hmm. drivers meals. I'd go in and help during holidays and stuff like that. And that's where I felt, you know what, if my mom can make a living out of selling food or my aunt can make a living out of cooking for societies and other mm. uh, ladies, why can't, why can't I do the same? Yeah. So yeah. I left corporate and I've never looked back. You don't, you don't have any regrets, no, do you? Not at all, not at yeah. all. Yeah. Now, you, you're part of the South African uh, Chef's Chef Association, Association yes. and uh, you went to culinary school, didn't yes, you? Yes, So true. what sort of credentials does one have to have in order to venture into this, into this particular industry? Uh, firstly, you, ha you have to be driven. You have to have a passion for food. You have to have a passion for people. Um, a lot gets, 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 gets told at school. You know, mm. you, you learn how to... Um, handle people with care, you, you, they teach you how to actually run with the whole event management uh, concept, how to pay your meals, um, uh, how to accommodate certain um, dietary requirements. So uh, you become more wiser when you go to culinary school and you don't just cook for the sake of cooking, you know? Yeah. You, you, you cook What's normally now. taught there that my mom or my grandmother or my aunt hasn't taught me? Uh, cook wisely and cook more cost-effective meals and yeah. cook healthier meals, right, you know? Right. I mean, traditionally, I know we used to, when you, you do your traditional stew, you'd put in your, your rajas and what, what, and what, what, and there's no, there's no need for all of that, yeah. you know? As long as you've got your salt and pepper and a few herbs here and there, so obviously that will also save you a lot of costs. I can't help myself, but uh, I, and I can't keep my eye away <laughs> from these dishes that are on the, on the table. Take us through what's, what you okay. got for us here. Here we've prepared your a lamb stew okay. and we've garnished it with uh, rosemary. Uh -huh. uh, the spices that I've used here was just, just your uh, masala, uh, your, what you call it, um, uh, uh, curry leaves, mm -hmm. uh, just to give it that nice flavor. And then what I've um, uh, uh, prepared here is your uh, savory couscous, which is oh not as heavy. It's, it's quite light. And I'm one for color. So yeah. I love playing with color because I believe people eat with their eyes. Indeed. So hence the, the robots and a bit of uh, coriander. They just to, to give it a bit of oomph. Okay. And that's your um, breakfast. I mean, I'm, we all live busy lives and people don't have time to make breakfast. So, so that's basically breakfast on the go. On the go. I mean, you can Jeez. have this at your table and uh, yeah, and I it's just that. muesli with fresh fruit and, and yogurt. Okay. Now you decided to take your company to Soweto. Why was there a need to, you know, um, to take that company in that area? Besides the fact that I was born in Pimville, Soweto, uh, there's a lot of restaurants in Vilagazi, blah, blah, blah. And tourists, I feel, want something different. Yeah. You know, tourists want the new kid on the block. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying other competitors are not doing uh, correctly, but I think we also need to be given a chance, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh, as a young black female, um, I felt, you know what, well, I'm not, we're not even going to operate in the, in the purpose. Okay, we do have clients that book our services. We do, uh, do Pretoria, we do Midrand, but a lot of clientele comes from uh, 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 the townships. You've worked with uh, big companies amongst of uh, Haman's which is uh, the Steve Biko Foundation yes. and some other big names in the yes. industry. So what are some of the challenges that you've encountered in this industry? Um, the challenges is to not drop the ball. Okay. Um, sometimes profits become, become a challenge. And uh, to be honest with you, we haven't come across a lot of challenges because the fact that we know what we're doing, we don't compromise on our quality, we... We've, one in ten clients will come back and say they were not happy with this and that. But, I mean, you, you must look at the testimonials that we get on our websites. I mean, your, your Cecil has given us a, a good reviews, your, your VW Soweto, your, yeah. your Toyota. So we work with, 
with nice brands. And I think the trick is to treat everyone equally. Sure. sure. Uh, whether it's a corporate client or whether it's a private client that will pay us four or five thousand for a meal, you treat them with the same respect because the very same client tomorrow might be paying you fifty or th uh, eighty thousand rand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. These tissues are beautifully arranged and they, they look good. And for, and some for of the you viewers, guys. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and for some of the viewers who would like to take on or venture on this particular industry, what advice do you have for them? I would say follow your dream, guys. Okay. Have support. Uh, don't give up. Um, cooking is a skill. You have to love it. And sometimes not, don't do it for the money. Do it for the passion. You know, what gives us satisfaction is the fact that people will Will, will, will suck their thumbs to say, you know what, everything was great. So yeah. um, I am also a phone call away. I am an email away. If people want me to mentor them, if people want some advice, I'm here to assist. Yeah. Cindy, we absolutely love you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for Thank time you. and uh, all the best in your Thank endeavors. You. Eh? All right. That was uh, Cindy Moletta talking to us about her life uh, as a chef and a business owner. Oh, I've got my TV <laughs> wife with me and I'll, I'll ask her to dish up for me. Indeed. That's exactly <laughs> why I came to the table. It's so Do the honors, good girl. to eat on the table. Do the honors, well, girl. Well, let's first say goodbye. And uh, yeah, books is ready to continue entertaining you. Cheers. Join us again bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Cheers.